Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide Wayne and today I want to show you how to unlock your Google Pixel 8a so you can use it with any carrier. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the phone app, tap on the dialer, and here you're going to type star pound zero six and pound. That's going to show us our IMEI information. You'll need to write down the IMEI at the top here and we're going to use it in the next step of the video. Next, we'll swipe up to go home. Next, go to your web browser, and we're gonna go to the website, theunlockingcompany.com, and we're just gonna fill out a few prompts, starting with the manufacturer, which is gonna be Google Pixel. The model is gonna be the 8A, and we're gonna tap unlock phone. And we're done, just kidding. Next, we're gonna swipe up. We'll answer a few more questions. So, the country you purchased the phone in, the carrier, which for us is going to be AT&T. And then it will generate a price, an average delivery time of how long it will take to get the phone unlocked. You'll need to enter your IMEI in the box here. You'll add to cart, check out and pay. Now after that, you'll wait for an email from the company. And again, it takes anywhere from one hour to 72, depending on what the delivery time says. So keep that in mind. Now, if you find yourself running past that delivery window, if you look at the top of the screen here, you have four different methods to contact the company to follow up on your order. So you can call, you can text, you can email, or you can connect, connect with them via a WhatsApp number. So this is one of the things I love about the site is that you have a lot of different ways to contact them, to follow up if you ever have a question or you ever have an issue. Now, once your phone is unlocked, you will need two things. You'll need the SIM card of the service you'd like to use the phone with. In this case, I'll be using the phone with T-Mobile, so I have a T-Mobile SIM card here. And then I have a SIM tool right here, and I'm gonna use this to simply pop out the old SIM card and put in my new SIM card. Now that the phone is unlocked, I'll be good to go. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.